hi guys so i'm victoria thanks for clicking on my video and welcome to my blog i hope to hear from you in the comments thanks sophie thanks patricia and thanks El for your comments thanks martin it was and um i hope to keep hearing back from you so uh today i want to talk about the types of women who who narcissists are attracted to and um i'm making this video because i have experience with uh with narcissistic men who have been attracted to me or to some of my friends so this is something that i'm talking about with a lot of authority i'll do a video in the future of qualities in males that narcissistic females are attracted to because there are narcissistic females but uh, research has actually shown that more males are narcissistic than females or rather males are more likely to be narcissistic than females and uh, i'm going to tell you about that in a different video because it's kind of a long story to do with the bringing and uh, parents likelihood of plumping up their kids egos to make them feel good about themselves so um anyway let's get today's video done um a narcissistic male is going to typically be drawn to a woman who is uh who is exceptional in some way she's either going to be really beautiful or she's going to be really smart or really successful and this is why when these stories come out in the media it's always so surprising when the victim speaks up about the issues that she was going through people will ask oh wow you were put through that you of all people and uh, yeah it's because she's her and all that she is just defines a narcissist sweat dream or something like that so um that's going to be the baseline if you're exceptional either in your caring or something like that you can be sure that narcissists will want you because they are like moths they are attracted to the light they don't know what to do with it but most of them actually seek to destroy it and uh it's terrible so anyway the first type of uh narcissistic woman and there is also the fact to think about that uh, there are different types of narcissists so it follows that they will be attracted to different kinds of women like these small different characteristics because maybe each has a small different preference in their women but at the end of the day she has to be exceptional in some way like i said anyway the first type of woman that a narcissist is going to be drawn to is a strong woman a strong successful woman who who has it going for themselves and uh, who can basically take care of the narcissist because she's strong she's financially capable she's physically strong probably she's spiritually stable she just has everything going for her this is a kind of woman who a narcissist will see as a kind of um caretaker because he knows that he doesn't have a lot going for him even if he's made a show of it and managed to get some success in his way deep inside him he knows that he's empty so he's going to be attracted to a really strong and successful woman and um most of the times a narcissist is going to seek to destroy this strong woman he's going to maybe use her destroyed spirit as a kind of trophy to plump up his ego like it will be something that he can look back on with pride and say yes i destroyed her she was once this strong headed uh, proud woman but now look at her she's a shell of herself they might not go around saying this but they might because they're messed up but that's what they're going to be thinking so if you're a strong woman just take care and try to stay strong um narcissists will also be attracted to empaths an empath an empathetic person is someone who is in tune with someone's emotion and they're capable of they are willing and capable to sacrifice their own needs and put those of others first so um 
a narcissist is attracted to this kind of woman because he knows that she's going to put himself to put him first which is what a narcissist always wants she's keep giving and giving without any expectations of getting anything back she will give until she's all spent and she's most likely never going to ask for anything and even if she does she's going to be manipulated and just beaten down she will give herself to death so if you're an empath watch out as well another kind of uh, woman who's going to attract a narcissist is a woman who doesn't really stand for anything a woman who doesn't know how to define herself she doesn't have any strong beliefs she doesn't have a sense of worth and uh, so she's also typically not going to have any boundaries this type of woman is going to be very prone to manipulation because she will be willing to believe the the lies and nonsense that a narcissist is going to feed to her and uh, she's going to be like molding clay she's going to fit whatever form the narcissist wants her to fit and uh, the problem is that he's not going to be satisfied with fitting her in a certain form he's going to fit her in one form then try to fit her in another and then he's just going to start picking at her spirit and she till she's all spent like all the others so um narcissists will also be very attracted to loyal women who are going to stay despite being cheated on being lied to being physically beaten being verbally insulted they will just keep forgiving endlessly and they will choose this narcissist over everyone every time they will choose the narcissist over their own families because they've been manipulated to that degree they're going to give the narcissist countless chances to prove himself because she believes that because she chose him then he's going to want to be a better person and uh, this is the kind of woman that are narcissistic or sorry mothers to narcissistic sons who i think are just narcissistic themselves this is the kind of woman that these women want and um in my culture these women are told that they need to vumilia which is, which means uh, they need to um weather the storm so she will be told no a woman is a woman's strength or actually a woman's essence is being patient with her man so they're going to put all of this rubbish in your head about how you need to forgive him stand by him pray for him i'm sure you you all know the trope that i'm i'm coming along <laughs> to talk about it's just tiresome to listen to and uh, this is a woman who a narcissist will love because he's going to do know that no matter what he does no matter who he does outside the relationship you're always going to choose him and so he's basically he has a safety net to catch him at the end of his escapades and all of that but don't ever get it twisted you will never be allowed the kind of um the same freedom that he has so you're going to be kept under a microscope you can't have extracurricular activities of yourself you're a woman but he's going to actually pick the women who you can be friends with because some others will spoil you they'll put bad ideas in your head the rest of that nonsense so um a narcissist is also going to be attracted to a woman with uh, with some insecurity but this insecurity needs to be manageable like she needs to be able to function without him so that she's not so needy that he needs to actually put any work into her he doesn't have any time or affection or anything to offer her so she needs to be able to stand firmly on herself but she needs to have just the right amount of insecurity so that it's going to be like the thread that he can use to pull her slowly until she unravels he's going to use this um this insecurity to manipulate her and to get her to bend to his will so to speak um another type of woman that narcissistic males are attracted to is beautiful women 
and um i guess everyone is attracted to beautiful women although some men actually hate beautiful women a lot and i'm going to make a blog about that a vlog sorry and um um i have to make a note because i'm going to forget if i don't mm -hmm. so um yeah this beautiful woman is going to be a kind of trophy on this narcissist shell most narcissists you're going to notice they're attractive they're charismatic and about attraction i think that if you feel beautiful and attractive if you feel gorgeous and irresistible something about you just makes you it makes it true so um almost all narcissists are going to be attractive not because they were born looking like angels okay i take that back not because they were born looking amazing but because they believe that they are just they are a gift to this world and something about that makes it true otherwise narcissists wouldn't have uh, an easy time getting supply because these creatures are despicable and um narcissists will also be attracted to women who have daddy issues daddy issues are uh, they are present in women who grew up in a family with um an absent father a father who was verbally or physically troublesome to the mom or to the kids as well just you know what i mean by daddy issues and the narcissist is going to like this because it's actually going to be a walkover this woman is the one who's going to be attracted to him even without him making any effort because she's damaged and she believes that he is what she needs so she's unless she fixes herself she's just going to fall head over heels for the wrong thing the final kind of woman that a narcissist will be attracted to is a is a construction enthusiast this fixing type who believes that oh wow he's so needy and broken he's so damaged but if i love him hard enough he's going to be better if i give him all i have then he's going to become the best man in the world you know the type of woman i'm talking about and you should not be her because it's completely fine to feel sorry for a narcissist that's because they are truly damaged individuals they are broken inside and there is a darkness that's consuming them from within that you honestly would not wish on your worst enemy even if this worst enemy is the narcissist they are just in a state that's so dark and hopeless inside and they see this hopeless darkness but um it's okay to maybe pray for them for a distance send them links to therapists you've heard about just try to help them from an arm's length because if you get close to them and try to help them they're actually going to take advantage of you and um, they'll just leave you in a terrible state and maybe you'll have been more useful to the world if you had remained whole and safe from their attacks so um the fact of the matter is that uh, the same way that narcissism exists on a spectrum and uh, I, I think that a narcissist can oscillate from one kind of narcissist to another then um i think that as a woman you might have these qualities inside you at different points in time you might be the unquestioningly loyal type you might be the fixing type you might be the woman without boundaries depending on life's ebbs and flows so um the best thing that you can do to make sure that you're not likely to become the victim of a narcissist is to just look into yourself if your past three or four or even ten relationships have been with people who have very strong narcissistic qualities then okay the problem is them obviously but the problem is also you your problem is you so you need to look into yourself whether you have an issue stemming from your childhood or from some other event try to work on it so that you even if you attract a narcissist 
you're not going to let one linger on for long enough to damage you. And um, yeah, as always, stay informed because the more information you have about narcissists and about your own self, the better off you're going to be when it comes to getting out of a narcissistic situation. And um, honestly, it takes a lot. It takes so much to get out of this situation. Like, I can't even start to tell you, but just if you need to get out, especially if it's for the sake of your safety or your children's safety, then don't buy time. You don't have time. You don't know when the last strike might come and this strike might be physical it might be mental it might be spiritual you might get broken in a way that you will never be able to recover from so please don't wait for this moment to come and um yeah as always i honestly hope that if you're inside the darkness you can find your way out of it I promise you it's going to be so hard, but it's going to be worth every drop of sweat, every tear you cried, it's going to be worth it. So um, stay strong and uh, see you on my next video. Thank you.